I would say the Exemplars Library is a collection of math stories, and it just happens to be aligned to the Common Core standards. It happens to be indexed. It happens to be easily accessible to me, uh, where I can uh, log in with an idea to the Exemplars website. I can look up a Common Core standard in mathematics. Uh, I can find a math story that fits uh, what our students are learning about. And then I can look at possible solutions. I can look at connections. I can think about how I could accommodate it with different levels of stories. So there might be uh, differentiated tasks available to me. There are not only tasks that I could use on a daily basis, but there are summative tasks. If I wanted to do a pre-assessment and a post-assessment on a mathematical unit of problem solving or any common core standard in math, I would go to the Exemplars Library. And what I really love about the Exemplars Library are the possible solutions as well as the uh, student work that is embedded in there, the student work examples, and they are uh, indexed and scored by uh, using the rubric that's available on the website. Um, and by looking at those papers, I have so many options. You're saying the three would go where? The three is in between that and then in between this plus four and then in between this. Anticipate what type of problem solvers you have and, and be ready to be surprised by what students can do with exemplars. Be ready to be surprised with representations. Be ready to be surprised with how they connect one problem or one math idea to the next. And be willing and ready for them to struggle. But these are great joys of solving with them with exemplars problems. And because that developed exemplars library has all of your, the tools necessary for you to be successful, you need to embark, em embark on a little bit of a journey with exemplars. But above all, it's time and thinking about your problem solving component as something you do every day, something you do every week, something you do every month, and you do it every year. And what you get out of your students in the beginning and what you get out at the, at the end will be very different because of exemplars. I think that performance tasks and exemplars and problem solving puts a story to the math concepts and the embedded concepts can be unpacked in our classroom with discourse, student sharing, looking at multiple representations, but kids should be walking out of the door, I hope, of every schoolhouse, of every classroom, in every suburb and urban area thinking about the story. Take the time to do this. Don't, don't think that it can't be done. It can be done. And once you start doing it, and you do it in September, you do it in November, you do it in February, you do it in May, you do it all year long, and you do it regularly, students will improve mathematically.